Hey up, I'm Craig Williams and these are my tips for returning to running after injury so you can run again without pain and with a reduced risk of your injury recurring. If you're like me, then running is more than a great way to stay in shape and get some fresh air. It's life and being forced to take a break because of injury can be hell. But returning to running after injury can be difficult. Primarily, there's the risk of getting hurt again. I've been where you are right now. And I've got some tips on how returning to running after injury can be much easier. It was Friday lunchtime, middle of June, when I turned my ankle on a tiny little curb, less than a mile from my home. I was one week away from a 100 mile race. I'd already postponed that twice due to COVID. An hour later, as I waited for an extra in A&E, it felt like someone had just jammed an ice pick into my ankle joint. It hurt so bad I thought it was broken for sure. The x-ray was really positive, the joint looked fine, which meant soft tissue damage and a severe strain on the ligament and a minimum of three months out. Today, I start running again. It's been a month and a half. My healing has been really, really quick. And in this video, I'm gonna share some of my tips on how you can return to running much easier and much quicker. <laughs> six general tips about getting back up and running following injury and I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that I've been doing some of them you may not have kind of heard of or tried before now I cannot tell you how quickly this ankle is kind of repaired okay I just want to show you something so this is where I turned my ankle I was literally running along here I kind of stepped off might have been about there I don't know, that little divot, nothing at all compared to some of the terrain I've run in the past. I fell like an absolute sack of I managed to kind of hop and crawl over to this point here. And, and this is where I kind of sat until my son could come and pick me up. So um, this is the first time I've really been down here since, since the injury. The thing, the key thing is like, it's just so, it's like, it's just a little curb that I stepped off, you know, whether it was poor footwear, whether it was, I wasn't concentrating, I was fatigued, I, I don't really know what it was, but for some reason I went over on it and I went over with a real crunch and, uh, and it freaking hurt. Okay, first things first, before we get into the tips, you've really got to understand, or you've really got to know when it's right for you to return back to actual running okay you've got to remember that the rehab that you're doing and the stretching and all that kind of stuff is all part of your training plan right now okay and from what i've seen and what i've experienced in the past is that you rush to get back and inevitably you end up hurting yourself you know re-tearing ligaments retailing tendons whatever it is okay and it just keeps putting you back and putting you back so you need to be able to know when it's time to start kind of introducing a bit more running. For me, it was like, I knew the minute I kind of had um, all my strength back. So in my ankle right now, I've got pretty much all my strength. It doesn't feel weak in, in any sort of plane of motion. Yes, it's a little bit clunky. It's a bit tight in places and, and it feels awkward. And there is a little bit of dull pain. There's nothing too, se too severe. Um, I've got lots of strength. Which tells me then that you know it's not the muscles and and that kind of stuff that's uh, that's damaged now. Maybe it's just a nervous thing, and you know perhaps it's time now to start introducing a bit more running. Once you've got to that point, it might be you've got a whole series of rehab and everything to go through. Okay, you can start introducing a bit of running. What comes next is my six tips on how to return to running as quickly and as easily as possible without risk of re-injuring yourself or added pain in the quickest possible time. Okay, once you're ready, the first one then is, is really to drop all your expectations. Don't have any expectations, you know. For me, I was getting ready to run. Well, I was actually planning on running 120 miles. 
the week after it was my last run before a big race and you know I think of how I am right now and I'm like I'm not sure I could run 10 miles right now okay and if I went out with the same expectations that I had before ultimately I'm just going to get upset you know and I'm going to push a little bit too hard and probably risk re-injuring myself okay or getting really down because I underperform so on this run Okay, and this is my first run back. I've literally thought, right, I'm gonna run down to where I hurt myself. It's less than a mile away from the house. I'm gonna do a little bit of walking, a little bit of stretching, do this video, and then run back. Any more than that is an absolute bonus. Okay, so I've got zero expectations on these first few runs now that I'm getting back out and running again. Okay, next up is to, I mean, we say it all the time, okay, but it's common knowledge. But common knowledge is not always common practice and that's to warm up the relief. I really spent a lot of time working on the deep stabilizing muscles in my ankle and also some of the supporting muscles of my legs, warm up the glutes, hip flexors, you know the adductors, the abductors, all these different muscle groups turning on the nerves okay so that you know if I do start to go over on my ankle, on my ankle again then the nerves are awake and they're firing just getting it all warmed up and obviously the sent the uh, the cardiovascular system as well because we need to get the body temperature up in order to do to, to run the best we can so you know spend a bit of time perhaps a little bit more time than you would do normally just really getting prepared for it it'll also help prepare the mind and that's really important because out running now i'm walking now because i've done enough the aches are just starting to increase i don't want to push it any more than i already have because i don't want to go too far all right so warming yourself up mentally is just as important so that you can you know you can deal with a little bit of aches a little bit of pains and and all that so uh yeah that's number two number three is you know start slowly again sounds really obvious but the amount of times i've done it myself you know you kind of head out and i don't just mean like at a slow pace i mean you know really think about the distance think about the terrain the elevation gain you know how much downhill you've got all these kind of things and just just start slowly it might even be that you're running once or twice a week and then slowly build it up instead of trying to run every day you know trying to get back to where you were as quick as you can okay ease back it will come you've got to trust it you've got to have faith you will get there okay number four listen to your body Okay, I don't mind stopping now and chatting to you. I don't mind walking a little bit because like I said, it is the aches and pains are, you know, they're coming on a little bit now. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do any serious damage, but I don't wanna push it too far. So listen to your body. You know, when you feel that you're perhaps pushing it a little bit too much, ease back. Better to, you know, walk today than to miss out on more weeks and months of not being able to run and not being able to train. Okay, so make sure you're listening to your goddamn body. Okay, number five then is just be prepared to walk. It sounds really stupid and it's something that I've said a couple of times already, but you know, people often think that they're not runners if they're walking. They think they're walkers, you know, but it is running is just walking twice at the same time. <laughs> walking does count, it's all movement. The muscles are all moving in, in a similar way. You know, you're getting out in the fresh air, you're getting a lot of the benefits of running at the same time just from walking, you know, but you just it's just removing a little bit of that added resistance that comes with running and that added impact, okay? So just be prepared to walk. And if you get out and you manage to run a K like I have, and then you have to walk home, then so be it because next time you'll be able to do a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more okay and you will get there that's it okay number six I'm back at the house uh, number six is is to cool down and stretch you know same again it's all aids and promotes recovery and make sure these damage these potentially damaged fibers are all lining up and laying in the direction that they're supposed to to make sure you give you the best strength you know the best elasticity all this kind of stuff okay so make sure you're stretching because all that is part of fixing any weak links that might you know that might be responsible for the injury in the first place okay so make sure you have a good cool down and and, uh, and stretch i'm also going to do I'm going to put some, some ice on it, a little bit of ice in to ease some of this pain. And I'm going to carry on with my other rehab stuff, okay, that I haven't quite told you about. In the next video, I'm going to talk to you about some of the supplements and some of the other types of training I've been doing to really promote recovery and to speed things up. So make sure you look out for that, okay? And uh, until the next video, 
freaking chicken. Chicken, what are you doing? Chicken's got, not got a care in the world. Oh, by the way, we've got new goats. Um, damn. I've been left with the goats. Two old ones should not be in there. I don't know if you can see them inside that chicken pen. Get out, come on, out. Your mother will kill me. Come on, get out. God's sake, come on, out. These two are the most stubborn mother freaking, come on, out. Come on, come on, get out. Come on. Come on then, you can go that way if you want. Look, he's just absolutely stomping his feet and won't move. Hello, okay. And you, Eric, come on. Out you go. So anyway, that's a day in the life of Craig Williams. Chasing, sodding goats out of the chicken pen. Um, anyway, till the next video, take care.